Alright, I've had a question about how to proceed doing this problem and um, I, I looked back at our lesson videos and I noticed that in there our lesson videos were slightly different uh, than this problem. So uh, this is actually a finite sum because it has a stopping place. So I thought we should go ahead and go through it. If you'll remember from watching your lesson videos, this uh, K value here at the bottom of the summation. This is telling you where to start plugging in K values in your formula and figuring out what that number is. This at the top of the summation symbol tells you where to stop. So, and remember we always go up by 1, so this says start with a K value of 1 and then we go to 2 and then we go to 3 and then we stop because this is our starting value and our stopping value. So now if I plug those numbers into our formula, first of all we'd have a k value of 1 to start with. So 1 cubed would be 1 plus 5 would be 6. And then if we plug in a 2 into our formula that would be 2 cubed plus 5. Well 2 cubed is 8 plus 5 would be 13. And then we plug in a 3. So 3 cubed would be 27 plus 5 would equal 32. Now we stop there because that is our stop value. At the very top of our summation symbol that's where it said stop with this number. Now we are supposed to sum all of these things up. That's what that capital sigma means. So we are supposed to add 6 plus 13 plus 32 to get 51 and that is how they got their answer of 51. 